Hey everyone, it's Sean with Pew Pew Tactical and I am so happy that it's finally cooled off a little bit in Texas and I'm busting out with the Dixon flannel. Today we're going to be shooting some RTS Tactical Shields and looking at some of their other products. Pretty interesting selection. Stick around and check it out. Okay, so we have three different shields here today. We're only going to be shooting one to confirm the ballistic rating of NIJ3+. But let's start out with the first one. Now, this one's kind of small. It's almost cute. Very portable. This one is a 12 by 18. It's 449.99, and it weighs 11 pounds. Now, the next one is a medium shield. It's 14 by 24. It's $599.99. It weighs 16.9 pounds. The large one is 16 by 30, and that one is $749.99. It's 23.3 pounds. So you get a lot more coverage, but it's also a lot heavier. So all these shields have some of the same features. First, you've got a polyurea coating on the outside, and that's supposed to help with spalling, of course. Also interesting note, you don't hear the name Polly anymore. I used to know a girl named Polly. Uh, on the back side, you've got a handle. There's a pretty thick trauma pad right here too. It's got some cushion to it, but it's mostly for absorbing the shock of actually receiving rounds. Then you've got this bungee strap with a quick release buckle too. And the whole idea behind that is to get your arm underneath it, strap it down, and then put it out in front of you like this, mount your pistol or your rifle on the side. Uh, you've got a couple of different tactics or techniques that you can use to get that done. We're going to shoot them now and just see how they perform. All right, so representing slugs today, or our slug thrower is going to be the Mossberg 930 SPX Tactical. Moving down the line for 45, we've got Glock. This is a Glock 41, it's a long slide. And we got two more over here representing Texas. For nine millimeter, Staccato P. And then finally, 5.56 five, is gonna be the F1 HDR15 RTF. Okay, so here's the small shield. Now, the thing I like about this is it's light, uh, relatively by comparison. It doesn't cover my entire forearm and um, it's pretty tough to get everything important covered behind it. But again, your trade-off is it's a lot lighter, it's a lot more wieldy, and you can tuck it away other places that you wouldn't be able to, the bigger ones. So this technique, we're just gonna come up on the side here and engage our target. All right, so moving on to the medium shield, you can see this one covers most of the important stuff. And it's a good balance between covering and also not being too heavy. The first one was around 11 pounds. This one is right around 17, but still the same tactics apply for addressing your target. Okay, we're moving on to the large shield now. This is where things get a little more challenging. 23.3 pounds, but as you can see, it offers really good protection. Now, I'm just gonna use a finger gun here, and the idea that you want to use is getting small behind the shield. You park your gun over here, you can still sight and get sight picture, but you don't want your elbow sticking out. No chicken wing for sure on this one. Thanks to my brother Emery for uh, his gentle reminders about that. But definitely stay small as you can and Get your um, target out in front of you, collect rounds on the shield, and return fire, engage your targets. But this one is heavy. It's going to be uh, a challenge to use this for any amount of time. If you're not currently engaged, you can kind of park it on your hip here. And with the strap and the handle, it makes it a little bit easier to take the weight off your arm for a second. The technique for shooting is going to be the same. Shield up, place in the corner. So we're going to start shooting now, and whenever you're shooting steel, you have to be concerned about spalling. We've got some uh, safety procedures in place here. We're going to suspend this from the plate carrier using paracord. 
We've also got a line going across the back to kind of hold it in place, but it's angled down and uh, hopefully will let us see safely how this uh, shield holds handles spalling. Uh, and on top of that, RTS Tactical sent along a plate carrier. It's, um, it's more of a discreet one. I don't know that you could conceal it very easily, but uh, it's a um, kind of a minimalist plate carrier. It's their advanced slick 2.0, and uh, it's got some great features. Certainly the uh, cummerbund uh, Velcro straps on here. You've got uh, loops within the cummerbund itself for holding magazines for a pistol or for a rifle and then you've got some pretty nice padded straps up on top and everything is adjustable it comes in a couple of different colors and uh, several different sizes i tried on the 2x and it was too big for me my bigger brothers out there there's some hope for you all right staccato p9 mil here we go So our first three shots from the Staccato P are using Remington UMC 115 grain. Good hits here. You can see where the polyurea is peeled back, but the hits are solid and did not penetrate. Move on to the 45 caliber next. There we go. All right, so this was... 230 grains of love Winchester white box hit over here on the corner you can see that even though we lost some of the coating really no deformation uh, of the shield itself good hit up here peeled back the coating and this one is kind of on top of one of the nine millimeter shots from earlier and again all three no penetration some of you will recognize these M855 green tips. We're going to try these out on the RTS Tactical Shield and see how it fares. There we go. Okay, so here's the results of the M855 test. Three shots, bottom left, all three solid hits, two right there together, and no penetration. Again, we see the coating coming off, handling the spall most likely, but no penetration. I'm tired of messing around with this thing. Let's throw some slugs at it. Today we're using SST from Hornady. Look at those bad boys. Loading torpedoes tube one and tube two. Let's take a couple shots here and uh, see what happens. Two 12 gauge slugs right here in the middle, about the same area. Did a real number on the polyurea, but as near as I can tell, Absolutely no penetration and very little, if any, deformation. The pad is on the back here, so we're not going to be able to see. Uh, but let me pull it off of here, and I will show you the back. Nowhere in the pad itself. The hardware is definitely loosened up. But from all of our hits, there's no penetration. So again, we're not testing this to try and defeat it. Obviously there's stuff out there that will get through this, but uh, we're testing to the standard in our non-certified laboratory here at the wonderful Texas Shooting Academy. So far it's holding up really well. All right, I was a little worried about this. I wasn't sure how it was gonna perform, but it's doing great. Speaking of that, did you sweep well last night? No, maybe you need a better pillow. RTS Tactical has got you covered. Now, this is a ballistic pillow, and we are going to absolutely shoot it. But we've also spent some time uh, sleeping on it. What was he shooting? 40 cal? <laughs> 
It's a memory foam pillow, but it's got a ballistic soft plate in the middle. Uh, so you might be wondering, why would I need a ballistic pillow? Why indeed? Maybe you live in a rough neighborhood or uh, maybe you have other concerns. But one thing is certain, we all sleep, tend to sleep in a bed, hopefully not hanging upside down in a dark closet. But in this situation, if you had someone break into your house, a pillow is one of the first things you've got within arm's reach. Now, RTS Tactical thought about that and they included grab handles here. So you can literally slip your hand in, hold this up, similar technique, to your ballistic shield. Pick up a firearm, go <laughs> engage your target. Now, it might look a little silly, but uh, we're going to gauge the amount of protection that this thing offers right now. <laughs> Would help if I hit it. There we go. So, Staccato P, Remington UMC 115 gram ammo, three shots. Penetrated the uh, bamboo pillowcase, but didn't get through the other side. See nothing here and uh, nothing on the outside. So we will move on to 45 now. And when we get done with everything, I'll peel that pillowcase off so we can take a good look at it. All right, here we go. 45 cal, the pillow. Oh, he didn't like that. So how did the round that won two world wars fare against the mighty RTS tactical ballistic pillow? Pretty good group right here. No penetration. Let's move on to the green tip, shall we? Oh, I think I saw some dirt. Okay, so we hit it with a green tip. And as you can see, solid penetration on this side. And we've got some exit wounds on the back side. Now, I want to be clear about this. This pillow is 3A. It's not rated for rifle. But we're going to go ahead and try it with the slug and see how it fares with that. 12 gauge slugs, SST from Hornady from a Mossberg 930 SPX Tactical. Ooh, it didn't like that. <laughs> All right, so three solid hits from the slugs. Let's go ahead and take it off and see what we've got. Yep, pretty good hit there. And there's some definite deformation to the actual pillow itself. I'm gonna take this pillowcase off. It stopped the slugs. All three went in the front, but they did not get out the back. And while we're at it, let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. So you've got your ballistic panel here and you can see that definitely has some solid hits, but they are caught in the ballistic panel. Pretty impressive. Okay, I get it. I'm sure that there are probably people heading to the comments section even as we speak, and they're gonna be saying, oh, but the ballistic pillow didn't stop the rifle rounds. No, it didn't, but it did a really good job of stopping everything else. I don't want you to feel left out because I think RTS Tactical still has you covered. If you absolutely want a rifle rated pillow, there you go. All right guys, last thing that we had as a safety precaution was an RTS Tactical IFAC. Now this thing is pretty cool. It comes in this laser cut case. You get a set of shears. It's got the attachment points on the back here. You can order it with a cat or a soft tee or another one that uh, I don't feel is worth repeating. You also get a quick access open by pulling out on this and it rips open clamshell style. You get a couple of hyphen chest seals, get your uh, marker for indicating the, your uh, tourniquet application time. You've got combat gauze, Israeli bandage, nasal pharyngeal, 
and some lube and a few other accessories. Pretty good little kit and they come in a few different colors. So final thoughts here. We've tested out several products today. The shields, pretty impressive. Big ones, certainly heavier, but it's gonna cover a lot more space. Medium's kind of a sweet spot and it's not so heavy, but it's definitely covering more space than the small. But I still like the small because it's super light. You could even throw it in a backpack, have it in your car. And if you had some situation pop up where you needed to engage or defend, you, you've got a good option there. So three different sizes of shield. The shield performed marvelously. It stopped absolutely everything. Nothing got through. Now granted, we tested it with nine mil, 45 caliber. We hit it with some 556 uh, and M855. And then we also shot it with some pretty serious slugs from Hornady. Moving on to the pillow, I was impressed with that. We did get through it with the 556, but again, it's not rifle rated. It is uh, meant to be a middle of the night stop gap. Here's something that's still comfortable when you sleep on it, but uh, provides you with a level of protection that you might not have if you don't have one of these shields available. And you can still throw it up on your arm go out and engage your targets. That's gonna do it for us. We'd like to thank RTS Tactical for sending all of this stuff out for us to test. We were very thankful to not have to use the medical kit that they sent along, the IFAC here. We encourage you to head over to pewpewtactical.com for the full review where you can get details on all of these products. Thank you very much for watching and I would appreciate it if you would help us stick it to the algorithmic overlords. And hit that like and subscribe button. 40 cal? <laughs>